From coast to coast, crime is on the rise. The latest incident, former Democrat Senator Barbara Boxer revealing that she was robbed and attacked yesterday in Oakland. Fox News correspondent Claudia Cowan has the latest. Claudia. Hi, David. Well, the former senator is talking about this incident yesterday. She says it was a scary attack that really shook her up, and she says she is thankful she was not seriously hurt. Now, this all happened in an area called Jack London Square. It's a busy dining and retail area along Oakland's waterfront and near a building where Boxer has an apartment. She was alone, taking her daily walk around her neighborhood and talking on her cell phone. She told Fox affiliate KTVU she was approached by a young man who got out of a black Sedan, who then attacked her from behind and made off with her cell phone. My heart was pounding, you know, my hands were shaking, and uh, I was glad I was on my feet. It's nerve wracking, but all is well, and I, I just I feel bad because I love this town. This comes a month after the Oakland City Council voted to cut more than $17 million from the police department's budget. And as incidents of violent crime in Oakland are on the rise, including robberies, carjackings, and homicides. Former President Donald Trump used the attack to slam a boxer's party and call for more police support in New York, Detroit, and San Francisco, issuing a statement saying, in part, these cities have, quote, become a paradise for criminals because of Democrats. We must give power back to police or America will never be safe. We cannot let communist Democrats destroy our great cities. But talking to the L.A. Times, the former senator pushed back, calling that narrative, quote, a red flag and saying Democrats want better policing and more resources to deal with incidents when they happened. Oakland police are investigating this case. They are looking for that black sedan, the getaway car. They say it may be the same vehicle that was used in other vehicle break-ins in that neighborhood yesterday. They are also offering a $2,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest in this case. David. Claudia, thank you very much.